back for another vlog. You guys demanded it, and that's now right. We're here. We are. We're, we're here. back. It's February now. Last time we did one was January. Four weeks ago. It was. Yeah, it's been too long. And we're drinking wine, but of hey, course. this time it's legal because I turned 21 while while we were away. <laughs> we did. And tonight we're drinking pineapple wine. It's bomb. I, it's the bomb it diggity. Is, it is. It's awesome. It's so good. I, I think like it, it. I think it tastes like pineapple juice, and I'm a fan, so um, I approve of Lee's wine, taste in wine. Thanks. So, well, we're just hanging out tonight. <clears throat> we had dinner, and I gained like 12 pounds when I ate dinner, but um, you know, I gained five just looking at it. <laughs> and I worked out today too. I'm just having a really bad fat day. I didn't work out today. Fat days happen, and I've lost a lot of weight. Though. You're not. You're not having a fat day. Yeah. No. Oh, I think this is what constitutes as a fat day. Feeling like a big old beluga whale. This is. We need to make an inspirational vlog. I'm not telling anybody else I look like a beluga whale. I'm just saying that I do. But um, <laughs> we we've just been looking at really cute pictures of Peter. She's making me like such a Peter and Christian yes. fan because they're so cute. This is the goal. Yeah, they're really cute, and and I'm pretty persuasive at this point. Bring on more super couples that I enjoy because I have so many. I have so yeah. many. I watch like every soap opera that's <laughs> on TV except for Bold and Beautiful and As the World Turns. I don't really care. I, I only watch about these. those shows. Yeah, I'm a soap net junkie. Like it's always on oh, my TV. Yeah. It's always on my TV. So I've gotten into all my children, which I swore up one side and down the other. I would never get into. All One Life to Live for sure. No, I don't like General Hospital very much, but Days is like numero uno right now because my girl is front and center, mm -hmm. and her girl is mm -hmm. front and center. Yeah. Not necessarily in a positive. What? She's the bomb. She's the bomb, but her storyline, I mean, she's, she's getting- She's kicking ass. She's getting shit you know all what? over by well, her husband. Well, whatever, but you know what? Hope is, uh, she's kicking butt, and she's taking names. And children away from her husband. Oh, whatever. I don't have a problem. I don't with. either. Sierra kicks some ass. <laughs> Sierra takes after her mother. <laughs> Sierra. She. And man. You know what else Sierra knows is that Sierra obviously has really good taste in clothes, because she must be a fashionista like her mom, because she knew well enough to destroy Carly. You know her wardrobe, her entire wardrobe. Yeah. Because you know what she probably thought every time she saw her was like, what the hell? What is, is she fuck? wearing? Yeah. Because the woman desperately, desperately needs new clothes. Yeah. So now Bo has to just buy them for her. Because, you know, yeah. I feel like the only time I've seen Carly recently is because I watched the Carly and Melanie scenes. Mm. But they're really good. They're great, yeah. I really enjoy watching their scenes together because I think that they work really well together. Yeah, and like Mel and Molly. And they play off each other really well. Yeah, and Molly Burnett's improved so much in mm -hmm. a year. I remember, like, when we went to Day of Days mm -hmm. in 08, and she was, she got, like, booed. She did? Yeah, and I, like, feel bad now. You booed her? <laughs> <laughs> she, got, she got booed by you. No, I didn't <laughs> boo her. I was too okay. busy freaking out about everything else. But, no, she got booed because of her character. She was a freaking brat when she came onto that mm -hmm. show. Pain in the ass. Like, nobody liked her. Everyone was like, why is this... I Melody remember that. Person coming in. Like, but she's really come into her own now. Redeemed herself. Yeah. yeah. I I like I love her scenes. You know I love the scene where um, Hope is totally telling Carly off, <laughs> and Melanie came in yeah. and totally like stood stood up for Hope. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Oh yeah, it's I mean no, yeah. I love I love mother mothers finding daughters long lost daughter stories. So of course I'm eating this up, but I it was fun to see. Like I loved it when Melanie walked in. And Bo and Carly were there, and oh my Melanie was like, "Why don't you go cheat on your wife some more?" Yeah. Like, the like, funniest thing though too was when um, when Brady showed up, yeah. and she totally was mocking them. Did you see that part? Yeah, I did. And she's I, like, yeah. she's like, "Hi, Bo. Hi, Brady." <laughs> it, was, it was so funny. She's good. She's, yeah, she's really, really. I mean, good. she's she's great, and she also has a good singing voice. Have oh, you seen no, the? I haven't. She sang in um, True Blood. Okay, I haven't seen that. She's. It was her singing. Wow. Like everyone on Twitter is like. Is that really you singing? She's like, yes, that's really me oh, singing. Cool. Yeah, she has a good voice. So go Molly Burnett. Like, mm -hmm. more power to you. We're the same age, and, like, if I was in your position, I would hope that I was improving, too. Um, <clears throat> no, that's, you know, that's 
up is the way to go. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Unlike some other people that are on days like uh, Mia. Mm. I don't see a lot of improvement. Do you? Well, I fast forward over a lot of them. Oh. So. I'm sorry, but like, I think I draw the line at like 18 for watching like on screen relationships. Mia's like 15. <clears throat> I don't want to see that. I don't care. Well, yeah, I mean, like, you know, even when I was 15. And I was watching soaps. I wanted to see the super couples. Right. I mean, that's, that's what, who I, what I always see. watched for. That's I never, I, I never cared about the people in my age group. I ever. don't give. Sh- I don't care about the people in my age group. I like Molly Burnett. Yeah. But actually, like Melanie's supposed to be like mid. No, actually, she's actually she's like nineteen. Is she really? Yeah. Why is she getting married? Girl, know. you got your whole life ahead of you. Don't get married. I'm just. I'm not an advocate for marriage. Not at that age. Not ever. I don't want to get ever. married. <laughs> not <laughs> ever. Like, but, um, I'm not an advocate for marriage. Ever. But, um, yeah, no, but, like, um, the girl that plays Mia and Taylor. Like, Taylor Sprite. Taylor Spreitler. Right. Yeah. She's 16 mm. in real life. I just can't, wa- I can't watch her, like, trying to have romance with someone on TV. I'm like, girl, go to high school first. And go make out in the locker bay. You should not have a child. <laughs> it's like, your yeah. character should not have had a child already either. Well, it's just like, you know, the, the problem with, with that character is just like, I don't care. I know. I, I feel like I that's, can't get invested. I can't She either. has no ties to anybody in Salem. No. You know, I don't care about her. Yeah. You know, I mean, I can't, honestly, I care about Sierra more than I care about her. I think they need to do a better job of incorporating Mia in because, like, I feel like with Melanie, people felt like that at the beginning, too. It's like, oh, all she is is Max's sister mm-hmm. who's, like, adopted yeah. by Caroline. You but know. now Melanie really has a purpose. Yeah, and I love so, it. Because, you know, she's going to be Carly's daughter and probably Daniel's daughter. So she's going to... Oh, you didn't know that? Oh, okay. Well... No. There you go. Spoiler alert. Woohoo! So I think Daniel's going to be her dad, which is going to ultimately cause problems between Chloe, Chloe and, and Daniel. Dan. Yeah. And then so Carly will kind of move into, the, into that orbit. I like that. I think I, she's because gonna, I like... I think she's going to move out of Bo's orbit. You know, yeah, and I, I think that that will that story will transition. I like Carly and Dan. I like yeah. their friendship. Oh, I like the way they are with each other, and I feel like that would be a stable mm-hmm. environment for all of them to get to, like Melanie, Dan, and Carly, for yeah. them to get to know each other. Because it's not like Dan and Carly have animosity. Exactly. Like so, so but then it would I, be yeah. like cat fight with like Chloe and Carly. Yeah. But then it's like he's my baby daddy, so. <laughs> I win, <laughs> like yeah, that kind I, exactly. of thing. Exactly. So I feel like that's where that's gonna. So go. tell me, would you like Carly more if she was involved with like another triangle, or do you just not like her? Um, you know, I think it would. I would just depend. Yeah. Because you know, a, a lot of why I don't like Carly has less to do with Bo and more to do with Carly. Because I just feel like she's really like needy and whiny, and it's all about her. Yeah. The same thing. People. I just, she seems very. She does not seem like a strong, independent woman to me. Which. You know, obviously, considering everything Carly's been through, I can I am empathetic. Yeah. To to that, but but still, it's like I I don't get the argument because it's kind of like, well, what you know, people say, well, you know, hopes of whatever, hopes yeah. a bitch or whatever. But it's like, but I'm also empathetic to her because obviously, what she's been through has you know shaped her into the character she is today. That's so it's true. like you have to you have to give them both the, the same equal yeah. opportunity as to why they react the way they do. Right. So, Good point. if Carly becomes more independent, strong character, then, may, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. have a problem. I just, I'm sick of these damsel, damsels in distress. Yeah. It's get, it gets old. Oh, no, no. Hi. For sure. <laughs> no, I, I feel you. I don't know. Like, with my girl, mm-hmm. Anna, I don't know where that's going to go, but I know I do know that she's getting fierce with EJ because he's being a <clears> dick <throat> to her. What? I was, like, watching the other night, and, and I, I thought, like... Yeah, he's getting a little I uh, almost, like, jumped aggressive. through the TV. I was like, um, excuse me, you don't talk to my girl that way. He's Thank getting you. very aggressive. He's really aggressive. Like, what happened to them being friends? Like, I'm not okay with this. Like, it's not okay. Yeah, it's getting to the point where, you know, I felt like she she felt kind of so threatened by him. That's why she went to see Sammy. Yeah. You know, like, she... It, Rightly so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just know that, like, Leanne is still filming, and they're already filming shows for late March, early April, so, Mm -hmm. like, this is a good thing. And, like, she's still doing interviews. She's in it. So, I'm excited, and I'm just day by day, like, real, like... No, it's awesome. Positive. Positivity. Positivity, baby. Just excited cheers so. to positivity cheers to positivity we're like so out of time we are this went by so fast i know it did get ready for part two 